hi everyone so today's video is dedicated to a tour to my condo and i will be discussing about uh, renting a place in canada specifically in toronto so this is the beautiful infrastructure of my condo building uh, beautifully designed and we are entering here comes the left let's enter and there we go and hello and welcome to my condo so let's start the tour of my condo hunasi andar aa gaye apne condo de we are inside my condo it's a one bedroom plus one den condo in downtown toronto uh, so i'm standing at the entrance of my house uh, you can see there is this full length mirror uh, but it's not a mirror it's a wardrobe uh, so basically every house and every condo in canada will have this wardrobe uh, to stack your shoes and your jackets the concept in canada is not that you can wear your outside shoes inside your house so anybody who is coming from outside has to remove their shoes here and put it inside the wardrobe along with their jackets so now i'll show you how the wardrobe looks like now you can see uh, that we have lot of shoes and the jackets are stacked it's a very spacious uh, wardrobe that you get uh, i have kept my bags here i have we have stacked our jackets which we use while going out or coming inside uh, these are all the shoes that we have stacked so me and my husband are very fond of shoes and jackets so you can see that But okay so it's op get opens from both the sides so again there is as i said a lot of space to put your stuff you can put your tissue boxes you can put your dabbas and lot of stuff that we have stacked in the best part about canadian homes and condos is that what i like about is that they have uh, everything as per utility so you will get lot of space in a small house also in a one bedroom also we have lot of space to keep our stuff in uh, ta ethe the best part is ki har cheez di uh, ek proper space hai ye rakhan di so even if you have one wardrobe that wardrobe specifically would be for your jackets and shoes as i showed you ਹੁਣ ਮੈਂ ਤੁਹਾਡੇ ਨਾਲ ਗੱਲ ਕਰ ਰਹੀ ਸੀ ਸਪੈਸੀਫਿਕ ਸਪੇਸ ਦੀ ਸੋ ਆਈ ਵਿਲ ਸ਼ੋ ਯੂ ਵਾਟਸ ਬਿਹਾਈਂਡ ਥਿਸ ਡੋਰ ਇਟ ਲੁਕਸ ਵੈਰੀ ਵੀਅਰਡ ਬਟ ਦੈਨ ਟਾਰਾ ਯੂ ਹੈਵ ਪ੍ਰੋਪਰ ਵਾਸ਼ਿੰਗ ਏਰੀਆ ਇਨ ਅ ਕੋਂਡੋ ਇਨ ਐਨੀ ਕੋਂਡੋ ਆਫ ਕੈਨੇਡਾ ਆਈ ਵੁਡ ਸੇ ਯੂ ਹੈਵ ਅ ਵਾਸ਼ਰ ਹੇਅਰ ਮੋਸਟ ਆਫ ਦ ਪਲੇਸਸ ਯੂ ਵਿਲ ਸੀ ਅ ਮਸ਼ੀਨ ਕੈਪਟ ਅਬਵ ਇਟ ਥੈਟ ਕੁਡ ਬੀ ਅ ਡਰਾਇਰ ਬਟ ਆਰ ਵਾਸ਼ਿੰਗ ਮਸ਼ੀਨ ਇਸ 2 ਇਨ 1 and so this has both the things to it drying and washing but majorly 99% of the time you will see a dryer above it again you can see another uh, uh, place here to put stuff i have put quite a stuff and it's not in a very good state uh, all my uh, quills and everything is here i have put a bag and you can see it's it's, it's it has quite a lot of space to put random stuff and it goes tuck close nobody knows what's behind it so it acts as a storage space as well now you can see this is my little cute dining table uh this is a four seated dining table that we have and again storage storage and storage uh if you can see i have stacked a lot of stuff again this is all my food stuff you can see my maggi packets yes you get maggi here for 33 cents only so it's not at all expensive uh you can see we have again it's quite organized you can see i have stacked quite a lot of stuff all my kitchen stuff all my crockery everything is stacked here so i think uh, this is the very good way to put your stuff inside and it's a, in a very proper shape again another space that i have here now i'll take you to the kitchen so that's a little kitchen that i have it is an open concept kitchen that we call uh, so this has a top it's a flat top that i have uh, many homes here will have flat tops and also the tops in india that we get with the fire in it but i prefer flat top um, new condos would always have flat tops because they are made with latest technologies uh, now this is my microwave that's the oven the best part a full size dishwasher so i would need to do the utensils again specific space for your garbage bins and your extra stuff for the kitchen uh you can see uh again i have a lot of space here all my masalas and everything come here crockery and everything so this is the fridge so majorly all the condos would come with this entire setting 
all the condos in Canada would give you all of this in the condo. So whenever you're going for a rent uh, in for a condo, renting a condo, you don't have to worry about the appliances of the kitchen because all of this comes installed. Uh, you will get a microwave, you will get uh, the dishwasher, uh, oven, fridge, everything is done by the management. There is nothing that you have to take care of. Uh, the machine also that I showed you, the washing machine is also taken care by the uh, management. So once this condo, if you're buying it or you're renting it, everything of this will be coming in the condo so that's the best part about having a condo uh, i will also talk about the difference between an apartment and a condo uh, an apartment does not have few of these uh, facilities like they do not have a dishwasher they might not have a microwave so these are the kind of constraints that a that, a, that an apartment has also the apartment you would face a problem is that there is a sharing uh, washer and dryer facility in majorly in apartments you will not find a proper uh, drying and washing facility that i showed you there's a common area in the building where everybody washes their uh, clothes and dry their clothes so that's the major difference of an apartment and a condo apartments are little uh, you know uh, older in technology and the condos are the latest technology now that we're talking about the difference between between a condo and apartment the major difference between a condo and apartment is the pricing factor uh, the apartment for one bedroom would cost somewhere between 1300 to 1800 wherein for a condo one bedroom whichever location that you choose would start from 1900 bare minimum for a one bedroom and can go up to 2500 depending on the bedrooms that you're looking at a condo in a downtown for example can also price uh, to 3500 for a two bedroom three bedroom depending on the view if you have a lakeshore view if you have a cn tower view and also the uh, number of bedrooms that a condo has but the facilities in condos will always remain the same irrespective of a 1900 condo or a 2500 condo or a three thousand dollars condo uh, a condo majorly starts with 500 square feet is that the le least that you would get a condo with 500 2000 square feet is what a condo can go up to so these are the major differences between an apartment and a condo also in an apartment uh, the good factor is that the entire building is owned by one person so if you have any kind of issues maintenance issues in your apartment you can call the management and there would be a person that can come and rectify it but wherein in a condo individuals own this like in india uh, we have individuals who own flats that is how condos in condos uh, you know the specific management is not owning the condo there is a person who owns the condo so if there if there is any problem in your condo if there's something goes wrong with your appliances you have to give a Call to your owner, the landlord, and he would be responsible for rectifying that. There is a switch uh, which is for temperature control and another difference is that all condos and apartments are centrally heated uh, but this e switch will be apartments to missing hoega because to see apna temperature condo da apne aap apartment da nahi set kar sakde. you cannot decrease or increase the temperature nahi heating cha, nahi cooling in an apartment but the condo you have this facility that you can temperature condo da apne aap maintain kar sakde ho. so this switch is in place in every condo so it's a centrally heated air conditioned uh, space that you get for yourself now you can see this is a cute little corner that I've created uh, close to my dining area to differentiate between the dining area and the drawing room I love uh, plants I have tried to make plants I have tried to make it very green and uh, popping up with colors this is what my motto is in life the dream big and you achieve uh, coming ahead that's my uh, that uh, drawing room uh, a living space i would say uh, we have a sofa there is there's a little space that's the reason i had to manage it like that uh, i have tried to uh, pop this area with a lot of colors by putting these uh, glass uh, decoration pieces here uh, these are a few pictures uh, that i have put uh, in a frame uh, which makes it the space more personalized hun to see dekh sakte ho that um, you know there is a, a difference in color of the flooring and the ceiling uh, in the condo uh, e jada area hai, this is white because this is for the living area and to see agar ye wala flooring dekhoge to the top dekhoge sari is wooden and brown so that is how you know it is a small space but fir bhi space no divide currently they have created uh, this kind of color combination uh, that's my TV again decorated with candles and all a little bit. Uh, bar to see the exit view. 
my favorite place in summers not in winters is a balcony so you get a proper balcony many condos in north york and many other areas do not get balcony even if you're paying 2000 dollars but uh, i cannot live without having a balcony so ventilation is the key for me so this is my area which i love me and my husband sit here in the evenings in summer and have good tea to see view dekh sakte ho the view is so beautiful just behind this building that uh, i'm showing you uh, we have cn tower cn tower is just 200 meters away from my place hun assi andar chalde hain bar bahut thand hai now i'm taking you to my most personal space that is my bedroom so welcome let's get inside so again the bedroom size is good enough it's cute little space but it has everything to it so not too cramped uh, depending on the space that you get in one bedroom uh, you would have the size of the bedroom our condo size is around 650 square feet so that's the reason we have a den in it which i'll just show you now you can see here there's a full size wardrobe as i all i have been talking about the space so the space is quite good here you can see that we have stacked our suitcases inside it and you know a lot of space for me and my husband to put our uh, outfits and our jackets and everything clothes here now you have you have a side table there's a lamp on it simple easy uh, many of the condos would majorly have carpeting to it inside the bedrooms if you can see we have a proper carpeting but yes it's something which is very difficult to uh, maintain because there are lint particles and dust that get stuck into it if you're allergic to lint and dust like me you will keep sneezing in them and uh, you need to take proper care of your carpets here Now you can see uh this is the dresser uh we I love to put a lot of makeup and my husband is really fond of perfume so I have put everything here so again you get such dressers here where you have too many drawers where I can put all my stuff so jagah di koi kami nahi hai chahe ek bedroom hai chahe do bedroom hai tano storage space any milegi itthe ki you will feel ki ha ek couple ni ya ek couple de naal jada bachcha hai it's a good space for you to live in when you initially come to Canada Uh now I'll talk about this little corner. Uh this is my working station. I work from home, so that's the reason I have created this specific space for myself where I work every day. Again, I'll show you this. Why I love this condo so much is because of so many windows. They're full size ceiling to bottom windows that they are. ਤਾਂ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਪ੍ਰਾਈਸਿੰਗ ਫੈਕਟਰ ਹੈ ਉਹ ਬਹੁਤ ਡਿਪੈਂਡ ਕਰੇਗਾ ਵਿਊ ਤੇ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਦੇਖ ਸਕਦੇ ਹੋ ਮੇਰੇ ਕੋਨਡੋ ਦੀ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਵਿਊ ਹੈ ਉਹ ਬਹੁਤ ਸੋਹਣਾ ਹੈ देयर इज अ ਸੀਐਨ ਟਾਵਰ ਵੈਰੀ ਕਲੋਜ਼ ਟੂ ਮਾਈ ਪਲੇਸ ਆਈ ਹੈਵ ਅ ਲੇਕ ਔਨ ਦਾ ਰਾਈਟ ਹੈਂਡ ਸਾਈਡ ਆਫ ਮਾਈ ਕੋਨਡੋ ਸੋ ਇਟਸ ਅ ਮੇਜਰ ਫੈਕਟਰ ਇਟ ਪਲੇਸ ਐਜ਼ ਅ ਮੇਜਰ ਫੈਕਟਰ ਤੁਹਾਡਾ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਵਿਊ ਹੈ ਕੋਨਡੋ ਦਾ ਤੁਹਾਡੀ ਲੋਕੇਸ਼ਨ ਹੈ ਕੋਨਡੋ ਦੀ ਕਈ ਕੋਨਡੋਸ ਦਾ ਪ੍ਰਾਈਸ ਸਿਰਫ ਲੋਕੇਸ਼ਨ ਕਰਕੇ ਹਾਈ ਹੋਏਗਾ ਆਈ ਹੈਵ ਅ ਕਪਲ ਹੂ ਇਜ਼ ਸਟੇਇੰਗ ਐਟ ਦਾ 37th ਫਲੋਰ ਇਫ ਦੇ ਆਰ ਵਾਚਿੰਗ ਥਿਸ ਦੇ ਆਰ ਗੋਨਾ ਸਮਾਈਲ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦਾ ਵਿਊ ਇੰਨਾ ਪਿਆਰਾ ਹੈ ਕੋਨਡੋ ਦਾ ਐਂਡ ਦੇ ਆਰ ਸ਼ੈਡਿੰਗ 2500 dollars only for that view utte tanu proper toronto di skyline dikhdi hai you have best of both worlds tusi lake dekh sakde ho on your left hand side and straight ahead you have cn tower te is karke canada de vich location te view bahut matter karda hai agar tanu cn tower dikh rahe hai ta tada price automatically 2300 dollar kar da bach jayega te tusi hun main tanu leke chalangi bar which is uh, towards my den so let's have a look towards my den hun to se dekha si main enter itthon hi kiti si this is the door from which i entered they enter kar de i left hand side te i have uh, my den jinnu loke the uh, dusre bedroom wangu we use karde hain they put like a, uh, a partition here te e dusre bedroom wangu act kar raha hai you can see we have put a proper bed here uh, it's a small size bed that we have put ki sade kar ch koi guest wagera aan so it acts as a second bedroom for us uh, there's another table this den is work in progress as it the ajay bahut kuch karan di koshish kar rahe hain te as it the kuch kuch cheeza lagavange these are all the trophies that my husband has earned uh, for his uh, cricket uh, he's a cricket enthusiast so you can see and uh, you know si beautify karange ajay but uh, it is 
in the most basic state as of now but again this is another space if you have a small kid you can make this as his or her room you can make this as a guest room uh ta condos che bhi 1 plus 1 agar tade condos likhyo hoyega that means os condo de vich den hai hun main tanu dikhawangi apna washroom so we have one washroom one bedroom one den gets you one washroom thoda eh thoda chakkar hai ki tusi jadon nave nave itthe aaoge tade kol do bathroom nahi honge you have one bedroom washroom but kyunki assi couple are so for us one washroom is good enough uh, you can see uh, a very latest technology with good infrastructure washroom is there you have your basin again lot of space they make to keep your stuff uh, this is the mirror which again i have lot of space to keep my stuff so space will no koi bhi issue nahi hoga uh, a pot every every bathroom has it and uh, india ch jehdi jadon assi chote hunde si bahut vaddi cheez hundi si uh, is the bath tub they you can see that we have a full size bath tub in our uh, condo uh, ethe this is the bare minimum necessity uh, when we were young i know jede ghar ch bathroom de vich bath tub hunda si it used to be a big thing and a very luxurious thing uh, but now it's not the case uh, main tada sare da dhyan ik badi important cheez wale aana chahwangi which is the jet ethe kise bhi tanu washrooms de vich jet नहीं मिलेगा तो तुम्हें जैट अपने आप लगाना पेगा तो अगर तुम जानना चाहते हो कि जैट कितों मिलता है तो किमें लगया जा सकता है एवरीथिंग यू हैव टू डू ऑन योर ओन एज यू हैव सीन इन माय लास्ट वीडियो डी आई वाई तो अगर कोई क्वेश्चन है कि तुम जैट्स कितों परचेज कर सकते हो किन्ने आ सकते हैं तो आई कैन डेफिनेटली आंसर दैट मैं कमेंट सैक्शन से पूछो तो मैं डेफिनेटली उन्होंने आंसर करा नाउ आफ्टर शोइंग यू माई इंटायर कॉन्डो मैं तुम्हें दसना चाहवागी कि मेरा प्राइस की है इतने कॉन्डो का आई एम पेइंग ट्वेंटी टू हंड्रड फॉर माई वन बैडरूम वन डेन कॉन्डो इन डाउन टाउन ट्रोनो ये मेरी पार्किंग स्पेस इंक्लूड नहीं हैगी तो प्लीज़ तुम्हें पार्किंग स्पेस भी देखना इतने कॉन्डोज का जोड़ा प्राइज आता है वो पार्किंग स्पेस के नाल तो विदाउट आता है सो यू कैन चैक फॉर दैट वी मेड दिस मिसटेक वैन वी टुक द कॉन्डो सूँ लोकेशन बहुत ही एप लगी सी वी रियली लव दिस हाउस विद द स्पेस इट has te assi parking te compromise kita and i am paying 2200 for this condo uh, to start a price jada hoega ka da depend karega on furnished or on unfurnished mere ka it was semi furnished so i had two three things which were given in this condo for example the sofa and all uh, but rest of the things were kept uh, put in by us in this house uh, te jada price hoega wo depend karega ta de furnishing te te non furnishing te uh, for the parking space uh, kyunki mainu mere condo de vich parking nahi mili तो मैं एडिशनल वन फिफ्टी डॉलर एवरी मंथ स्पेंड करने पै रहे हैं टू यू नो कीप माय कार देयर एंड पार्क माय कार तो इन टोटल ट्वेंटी टू हंड्रेड प्लस वन फिफ्टी आई एम पेइंग ट्वेंटी थ्री फिफ्टी फॉर माय दिस ब्यूटीफुल लिटिल स्पेस नाउ दैट आई हैव शोड यू माय कॉन्डो लेट मी नो इन कमेंट सेक्शन हाउ डिड यू लाइक माय क्यूट लिटिल होम व्हिच आई हैव ट्राइड टू क्रिएट इन माय बेस्ट पॉसिबल क्रिएटिविटी एक और चीज मैं ਤੁਹਾਡੇ ਸਾਹਮਣੇ ਸ਼ੇਅਰ ਕਰਨਾ ਚਾਹਾਂਗੀ ਕਿ ਜੋ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਆ ਰਹੇ ਹੋ ਕੈਨੇਡਾ ਚ ਤੇ ਤੁਹਾਡੇ ਕੋਲ ਆਪਸ਼ਨ ਅਪਾਰਟ ਫਰਮ ਅਪਾਰਟਮੈਂਟ ਤੇ ਕੌਂਡੋ ਵਿਚ ਇਜ਼ ਵੈਰੀ ਫੇਮਸ ਇਨ ਸਟੂਡੈਂਟਸ ਇਜ਼ ਬੇਸਮੈਂਟ ਇਫ ਯੂ ਆਰ ਅ ਸਿੰਗਲ ਪਰਸਨ ਇਫ ਯੂ ਆਰ ਇਫ ਯੂ ਆਰ ਅ ਕਪਲ ਯੂ ਕੈਨ ਆਲਸੋ ਆਪਟ ਫਾਰ ਬੇਸਮੈਂਟਸ ਇਫ ਯੂ ਆਰ ਨਾਟ ਲੁਕਿੰਗ ਫਾਰਵਰਡ ਟੂ ਇਨੀਸ਼ੀਅਲ ਸਪੈਂਡ ਆਫ ਮਨੀ ਦੈਟ ਦੈਟ ਕਾਈਂਡ ਆਫ ਮਨੀ ਐਂਡ ਯੂ ਹੈ ਡੋਨਟ ਫੀਲ ਦੈਟ ਯੂ ਆਰ ਕਲੋਸਟ੍ਰੋਫੋਬਿਕ ਸਟਾਰ ਤੁਹਾਡੇ ਕੋਲ ਆਪਸ਼ਨ ਹੈ ਬੇਸਮੈਂਟਸ ਦੀ ਬੇਸਮੈਂਟ ਕਾਫੀ ਸਸਤਾ ਫੇਅਰ ਹੈ ਡਿਪੈਂਡਿੰਗ ਔਨ ਦ ਲੋਕੇਸ਼ਨ ਐਸ ਆਈ ਸੈਡ ਅਰਾਊਂਡ 1200 ਟੂ 1800 ਔਰ 1900 ਦੀ ਰੇਂਜ ਤੁਹਾਡੀ ਬੇਸਮੈਂਟ ਆ ਜਾਏਗੀ ਅੱਛੀ ਬੇਸਮੈਂਟ ਆ ਜਾਏਗੀ ਸਟਾਰਟਿੰਗ ਫਰਮ ਵਨ ਬੈਡਰੂਮ ਟੂ ਟੂ ਬੈਡਰੂਮ ਬ੍ਰੈਂਪਟਨ ਚ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਟੂ ਬੈਡਰੂਮ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਬੇਸਮੈਂਟ ਹੈਗੀ ਹੈ ਉਹ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ 1800 ਤੱਕ ਮਿਲ ਜਾਏਗੀ ਇਨ ਫੈਕਟ ਫਰਨੀਚਰ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਮਿਲ ਜਾਏਗੀ ਅਗਰ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਸਿੰਗਲ ਹੋ ਤਾਂ ਇਨੀਸ਼ੀਅਲੀ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਆ ਕੇ ਇੱਥੇ ਬੇਸਮੈਂਟ ਚ ਡੈਫੀਨਿਟਲੀ ਰਹਿ ਸਕਦੇ ਹੋ ਸ਼ੇਅਰਿੰਗ ਬੇਸਿਸ ਤੇ ਰਹਿ ਸਕਦੇ ਹੋ ਅਗਰ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਕਪਲ ਹੋ ਤਾਂ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਤਾਂ ਵੀ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਬੇਸਮੈਂਟ ਆਪਟ ਕਰ ਸਕਦੇ ਹੋ ਇਨੀਸ਼ੀਅਲੀ ਬਟ ਮਾਈ ਪਰਸਨਲ ਐਕਸਪੀਰੀਅੰਸ ਸੇਸ ਕਿ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਬੇਸਮੈਂਟ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਲੌਂਗਰ ਪੀਰੀਅਡ ਤੇ ਨਹੀਂ ਰਹਿ ਸਕਦੇ 3-4 ਮਹੀਨੇ ਜਾਂ 2-3 ਮਹੀਨੇ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਕੱਟ ਸਕਦੇ ਹੋ ਬਟ ਬਿਯੋਂਡ ਦੈਟ ਯੂ ਡੈਫੀਨਿਟਲੀ ਨੀਡ ਅ ਸਪੇਸ ਵਿਚ ਗਿਵਸ ਯੂ a uh, lot of ventilation lot of fresh air and sunlight a basement the which negative hai hunda hai ki tade utte kyunki family reh rahi hundi hai te tanu bahut disturbance hundi hai from their steps and uh, you know children walking or people walking above so
ਵਿੱਚ ਯੂ ਕੈਨ ਆਪਟ ਫॉर दैट ਬਟ ਉਹਦਾ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਕਾਫੀ ਮਨੀ ਸਪੈਂਡ ਕਰਨਾ ਪਏਗਾ दैट वुड बी ਬੇਅਰ ਟੂ ਬੇਅਰ ਮਿਨਿਮਮ ਆਫ 3500 ਟੂ 4000 ਸਟਾਰਟਿੰਗ ਮੈਂ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਦੱਸ ਰਹੀ ਹਾਂ ਫॉर ਅ ਟਾਊਨ ਹਾਊਸ ਔਰ ਫॉर ਅ ਡਿਟੈਚਡ ਹਾਊਸ ਥਿਸ वुड बी ਦ ਬੇਅਰ ਮਿਨਿਮਮ ਅਮਾਉਂਟ दैट ਯੂ वुड ਹੈਵ ਟੂ ਸ਼ੈਡ ਡਿਪੈਂਡਿੰਗ ਔਨ ਨੰਬਰ ਆਫ ਬੈਡਰੂਮਸ ਦੈਟ ਯੂ ਆਰ ਲੁਕਿੰਗ ਐਟ ਐਂਡ ਅਨਦ ਲੋਕੇਸ਼ਨ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਮੇਰਾ ਵੀਡੀਓ ਕਿਹੋ ਜਿਹਾ ਲੱਗਾ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਹੋਰ ਇਨਫੋਰਮੇਸ਼ਨ ਚਾਹੁੰਦੇ ਹੋ ਬਿਫੋਰ ਫਲਾਈਂਗ ਟੂ ਕੈਨੇਡਾ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਕਿੱਥੇ ਰਹਿਣਾ ਚਾਹੀਦਾ ਮੈਂ ਉਹਦੇ ਬਾਰੇ ਵੀ ਡਿਸਕਸ ਕਰਾਂਗੀ ਅੰਟਿਲ ਦੈਨ ਪਲੀਜ਼ ਸਬਸਕ੍ਰਾਈਬ ਟੂ ਮਾਈ ਚੈਨਲ ਲਾਈਕ ਐਂਡ ਸ਼ੇਅਰ ਮਾਈ 